welcome again to our virtual dojo. And today, of course, is Key Home Basics Day. Uh, this is for the green to purple belts. A uh, quick reminder, there is no Kumite class live feed this Saturday. It is a May long weekend. Please go out there, camp, enjoy yourselves. Physical distancing, of course, with other folks, but uh, have some fun out there. Hopefully, it's supposed to be, the weather's supposed to be turning well, so camping is in order. And uh, we're going to bring Steve in here to work on some basic drills, and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, Steve. All right, so the theme of today is squeeze and push. How you like that one? Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start off, Steve. Um, I'm going to change you guys up a little bit. So we're going to get you into Kiba Dutch this one. Okay. So the squeeze and push. So from here, what I want you to do, I want you to bring your left leg to your right and set your block. Get it dry. Uh, nope. Actually, other, yeah, change other, it up. Other left. So yeah, your other left. So you're going to move just your left leg. So go forward, get it dry. Just stepping in forward. Front stance, get them dry, perfect. Then you're gonna bring it back, and when you come back, I want you to do a chokasuki punch with the hand. And then from there, you're going to go into uh, get them dry to the side, keep it edge. Perfect. Then from there, you're going to set the other side. So bring your right leg to your left, yes. Go forward, get them dry, chokasuki as you go back. And then get them right to the side. This is a starting point. This is kind of a warm up drill, and we're going to expand upon this. So, this time when you go forward, I want you to set an outside block. So, left to right, outside block, that's it. Outside block forward, bring it back, chokasuki, then get them right to the side. Then the right leg moving, set the outside block, other arm, that's it, forward, chokasuki back and then the third part we're going to do the rising block so setting up for a rising block one squeeze the left leg in Adyuki, going back chokasuki go back to get dry move the other side rising block step in set back chokasuki chokasuki on that one and get dry that's okay so again just like a normal class we don't preempt our students, so we kind of get them to follow too slowly, and we pick up some speed. Okay, ready. So I think that covers our basic block for these guys, and that's a good start. Yes. Ready. So starting with the left leg, set for gate and bride one, then bound forward two, then chokasuki three, gate and bride for side four, other side one, set gate and bride, forward, bring it back chokasuki, back to gate and bride side, now the outside block is set. Outside block, bring it back to Kusuki, back to get dry, change the other side, outside block, step forward, back to Kusuki, back to get dry, final block, so set, Adyuki, Chokasuki, get dry, keep it up. Perfect. That is your cycle. Oh, of course the other side, set, forward, back, and get it right. Steve's already in the mode. He wants to get oh. the Okay, so that was just to get you guys in the gear up. So this is a good work on the legs. Well, <laughs> he's going, yes, that feels good on my legs. So this really contaxes the legs. It's working that squeezing motion. That's really important. And as an alternate, we're going to change it up whereby we'll do uh, from pulling back and then forward. But this is just a forward motion. <coughs> oh. So this is like a side squeeze and a forward squeeze. Then we're gonna work back squeeze later. Okay, ready? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's an eight count. Ready? Now the outside block. One, two, three, four, Five, outside block, six, seven, eight. 
Now the rising block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No problem. Yeah, it's a taxi. Oh. Surprising for, for what we're doing, and this is really <coughs> basic stuff, but Steve will tell you, it's taxing the legs. And the brain. Too. And the brain, yes. Yeah, so there's an action that sort of quick change up the hands because you're changing sides. Okay, so gait and bribe. So I'm going to get Steve to go through this nice and slow just to gain bribe routine. Get me shifts. Ready? Each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome job. Now the outside block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rising block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Awesome job. All right. Now we're going to push him even more. We're going to make him go faster. Let's let him go faster. Okay, so he's not going to spend as much time in each position. So what he's trying to do is do a squeeze and almost like a step through that quick. Bop, bop. Not stopping? Not really stopping. It's more, so it's more of a set together. Yeah. So it's almost like when you're stepping through like normally. So it's almost like a pull and then through. Boss. Yeah, so don't really stop between them. You know how we teach our students how to do a halfway step and then a step through. Boss. But now we want them to smooth that out a little bit. Boss. So not. Yeah. Not so, because especially for green purple, we want to right. promote a little smoother transition. Okay? All right, so he's going to do the gate and bry. First step, ready? Each, right? Yes, good. That's it. Excellent. Exactly, perfect, Steve. Okay, and now the outside block. Two. Excellent. Good, now the rising block. Three. Guarantee this will tax them. Hey, <coughs> even for seniors, this is a this is a bit of a not only taxes the legs, but you're really working your squeeze and push action. But it also taxes your brain to work that in connection. All right, ready? One more set with this one. Ready? Get and bright. Each. And outside block. Knee. And rise block. Sun. And your up. And not the box. Oh yeah, it's a good burn now. Oh. Okay. Let's um, let's take this in a little different direction. So what I'm gonna get you to do, Steve. I'm actually going to get you to move backwards this time. So actually go forward a little bit more, yeah, and go into your key to that again. That's your starting point. So from there, we're going to start with our left leg moving. So you're going to again squeeze it in, squeeze it in, set, and then this one, we're going to get you, actually, instead of doing that, we're going to get you to go in line, back stance, night time block. So set a night time block. Perfect. Yeah. And then when you come forward, I want you to do nukate with the left hand. That's it. And then actually I want you to go side elbow. Perfect. Now you're going to move your right leg set. And knife hand. You come forward, nukate. Then side elbow. So this is working the back squeeze. Awesome. And different technique. Okay. Ready? So this is just the one set. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome job. Ready? One, two. Ah. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. So one. Two, look at day three, 
Side double four, other side. Five, six, seven, eight. You can call this like the box set. <laughs> the box set, squeeze and push. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, and eight. It's a real challenge from the hand changes. And that's, that's normal. This even challenges black belts. So it really gets you to focus on those hand exchanges with your feet moving, which is no different than working like Kumuchi drills. So it's just, it's just getting that, that focus in the hands. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think the other challenge is we've got a dominant side, so we tend to always go that one side. This really challenges both sides. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome job. Okay, go through the whole thing, Steve. But medium pace. So again, now smooth out those transitions, even more. Ready? So smoothing out the transitions, like stepping through. Ready? Each. That's it. Good. Knee. Sun. Hope you guys are keeping up with this. These are challenging, even black belt level. But this is good for you guys to really work on this. And this is something you can practice over the long weekend. What better to do than just do this on the weekend? Okay, so the final thing we're going to work on a little bit is kicking um, using these transitions. So, what I'm going to get you to do go back into Kibidach again. All right, from there, so squeezing the left leg in, I want you to do a Mayagiri and then step through Mayagiri into front stance. With left? With the left. Kick it and step through. Then, when you come back, I want you to kick the same leg, roundhouse, and then bring it back. Because I'm in the That's it. And then from there, uh, same leg, Kiyagi, and then step it up. Kiyagi, and step it up. Yes, Kiyagi. And step it up. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And then from here, bring the right leg in. My Gary, go forward. Roundhouse, same leg. Then bring the Kiyagi to the side, and back to Kibadash. Now, just to add a little extra to this, <laughs> uh, what I want you to do is Bring the left leg in again, and then um, pivot and kick to the back Komi. So just do a quick side thrust kick. Bring it back, kick, step it back out. Right leg. No, and then bring your, oh, put that left leg back out. Yeah. So kicking here. Yeah, so you bring it back. back. So you're going to pivot back, and then bring it back. Yeah. So, so, so from here you're gonna kick comb, then bring it out, bring it back, comb. Awesome. Yeah, so just work with comb out okay. from that. So that's a bit of the cycle in that whole thing. Yeah, so a little bit forward, probably better. Right leg, just a quick pivot, side trust, bring it back up. So then you're back to square run. Left leg so in. Do you want to jam the body? Absolutely on the cocoon. Just on the cocoon. Okay, so we'll start again with the Maigiri. So left leg in, left leg comes in, front leg kick, then roundhouse, same leg, bring it back, step it out. Um, you know what? You can do this. Hang on. I'm going to modify this. Make it even hey. easier for you. So when you come back to the roundhouse, quick pivot, side thrust kick, then bring it back. That way. 
Os. Okay, let's start this again. Cycle again. Os. So, ready. Left leg in. My Gary step forward. Roundhouse step back. Now he's going to do a quick pivot. See how he turns 90 degrees and then Kakomi to the back. Then bring it back up. Now the right leg's going to work. Up. My Gary forward. Roundhouse kick. Bring it back. He's going to quarter turn. Side thrust kick to the back. Perfect. This works. Okay, ready. Left leg. Bring it up. My Gary. Roundhouse. Bring back. Quarter turn. Side thrust kick. In the back, right leg, up, front leg, roundhouse, quarter turn, cross kick back. Awesome. Ready, left leg, bring it up, by Gary, Mawashi, quarter turn, Komi, excellent. Right leg up, my Gary, roundhouse, <laughs> roundhouse, and quarter turn. Awesome job. Okay, awesome job. Great. You need a stunt double for your knee. You're okay? Twisted. Not okay. Serious, but it's okay. It's got a little bit of sweat. Okay. I can bring Natasha in. Okay. He kind of hurt his knee a little bit, people, just so you know that. Okay, ready. So just go a little bit higher in your stance if that helps you. Okay, ready. So left leg. One, two, three. Roundhouse. Pivot. Four, back, right leg, up, my Gary, Mawashi, pivot, Kukong, good, left, one, two, three, roundhouse, Kukong four, and other side, ready, right leg, one, my Gary, roundhouse, Four turn, Kukong, good, got it? No problem. Okay, so I want you guys to keep up with him. And he's got a sort of knee right now, so he's doing really well. Um, so now smooth out the transition. So if you want, just do a little bit of almost, just barely grazing the ground. Let it go. Oh. And then just smooth out your transitions a little bit. Okay, so he's gonna do all three kicks on one side. Ready, each. There you go. So basically, it's okay. Just to touch the floor between the kicks. That's fine. And then the right side. Two. That's it. Excellent. You kind of reset yourself and regain your balance. Left side. Three. And right side. Four. Left side. Five. Hey guys, keep up. Oh, and six. He's got a sore knee, so you guys got to keep up with him. Ready, and seven. And eight. And nine. stepping you're doing is that squeeze and push action and that's the focus of our classes today so it's really important that you draw in uh, you know as we're teaching the lower belts is learning how to squeeze it through uh, it's not even so much about your feet it's about drawing the knees through and it creates that pressure in your stance so you can drive through so hopefully you guys kind of work on this today maybe the next few days and uh, we'll see you Thursday for cutting.